What's going on guys? So we are at the 2024 Houston RV Show at the Demontron booth and we're taking a look at a very special Class B with some bonus space motorhome. This thing is super cool, four-wheel drive, off-road capable, and there's so many great things to look at on this thing. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so as you can tell right off the bat, this is built off of a Mercedes chassis. A lot of people love the Mercedes chassis for its reliability and fuel efficiency, but this thing is absolutely cool. Check out the top. It has a big integrated light bar on a large rack up top. Up here is your power awning with LED light strip underneath. But you look down the side and you can definitely see that this thing is super off-road inspired and probably off-road capable. It's a very short unit overall, though it has a lot of ground clearance and there's a lot of off-road capability that goes along with that. Nice BF Goodwrench tires as well. Wonderful step side going down here, also with the ability to kind of knock mud and dirt off your shoes if you're going to use this out, you know, go mountain biking, things like that, and use this as your getaway for that. You have all of your drains here for your low points. Over here, you have a cool little rack system. I'm not exactly sure what you use this for, but I can definitely say it is pretty cool. Here's a table, so this is gonna swing out and down. Okay, so this lets you adjust the height of the table. I'm not exactly sure why it was set up that way, as opposed to just making a fixed point there, because I don't think you want this thing leaning over or down, but it is definitely nice to have here. Cool little table. At first, when I walked by it, I thought it was a refrigerator door. Okay, let's step inside of this Integra. Check this out. Mercedes-Benz cab looks gorgeous. Totally nice interface, super modern looking, nice dark leather. It's just really, really nice. You have some storage above right here. You have a spot for two more passengers that can seat, be seat belted in, which is also really nice. And they're facing forward. So a lot of things like this, you are facing to the side if you're sitting behind the main cab. But I really like the configuration here. I hope, and I don't know, yeah, they do slide forward. Okay, that was going to be the question I had, because no one wants to sit that upright like they're in, you know, the furthest back economy seat on an aircraft. You have the ability here to recline these back so you can have a more comfortable seat. It is gonna eat away a little bit at your leg room, but if this is smaller children, this is probably perfectly fine for them. No armrest in between. That also would have been pretty nice to have an armrest right here. You have all of your controls back here to power everything up to see what's going on with your solar system, as well as to control your lights and all of that. You have a nice window right here that also has a day-night roller shade. So you have blinds that block out light and you have blinds that block out dark, or at least that give you shade during the dark as well so people can't see through it. Basically privacy shades. Right here is a really nice cabinet latch. I like that. Coming around this way, this is gonna be your kitchenette kind of space. Now I'm gonna to have to hunt down how you cook in here. There might be some hidden features. I've not been inside this unit yet, so your guess is as good as mine. Above, above it, you have more storage. You have your single basin stainless steel sink. A lot of drawers down here. This is actually really cool. And I love these little lock latches. You have a cabinet right here as well, more storage. Now check this out. Before we look at this backspace, let's look at the bathroom, then I'll show you what I love about this. So this is really interesting. So you open this up and it blocks the entire back area. And then on this side, you have this door right here. You have these interesting racks here, which I'm assuming are for storage or for straining things off, but you can take these out and stow them and you have a wet bath in this space. Very, very unique setup. I actually haven't seen a floor plan exactly like this before. For something this small, recall how long this was when we were outside, but for something this small, it is really nice that it's equipped with a full functional wet bath. And you can lock it up here at the top. Now take a look at this backspace. Talk about mountain bikers or small toy owners dream. This is super cool. You have a spot to strap your equipment down. You have a bed that can lower down in your AC unit on top. You have a nice padded ceiling up here as well. This is super, super awesome space. If you're a mountain biker, you would have to wrestle with how you would fit your mountain bikes in here though. That would be your only challenge because most 
most of your modern mountain bikes are relatively long, even with the tire removed, and you'd have to kind of figure out how you could put it in this space. You have padding here on the side as well, and these are mainly here for when this lowers down, it kind of rests and completes the bed. So this rests in between here, and this completes both sides of the bed. Back here you have your wet panel for all your water controls as well as an outside shower. So if you wanted to open up this back door, you could extend it out, turn it into a private area so you could actually take a shower off the back of this, which is really interesting. But this is such a cool little camper. I mean, this is something that you could use as a family hauler to take you on a long trip somewhere. I really, really like this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below because I don't show a lot of these. Do you want to see more of them? And really, what are you looking for if you're looking at a Class B? Because this checks a lot of boxes for a lot of people who are simply looking for a means to get out, take a shower, you know, use the restroom, have a means to bring the kids with you, bring some of their toys with them. The only thing that I'm still hunting for is a place to cook. So this right here is going to be your compact, super compact refrigerator. And I don't see a cooking area, not even a microwave. So let's see if we can hunt one down real quick. So we went all around this unit and we could not find any type of a cooking area. Unless I'm just not finding it. At first I thought maybe it would be underneath here. Maybe you're just supposed to bring some type of a grill or something that you can set on top of here. But I don't see any direct area that you could actually cook in this unit. Maybe you're supposed to put it on top of here and you plug it in right there. Maybe like an induction cooker, something that's portable. I don't know. But overall, I still think this thing is super, super cool. What do you guys think? But coming around back, I want to show you what the back end of this looks like. You do have a hitch back here. Your capacities are 5,000 pounds, 5,100 pounds towing, 510 pounds worth of hitch weight capacity. You have a ladder that gets you on top right here. You also have a backup camera up there. And up top on the rack is going to be your solar panel, as well as additional storage so you can stow things up top as well. But this is super cool, and this is called the launch. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.